lost a man, but we can still do this. It's not the manpower, it's the power of the man. Shit, this kid really jacks you up. They wanted her to be a thing so bad, yo. They put her in Star Trek. She was doing magazines with uh, full photo shoots. Um, with, remember the one with her in the silhouette? When I'll have you in the cape and shit. Like, oh my God, yo. They've really, for the past four years, just tried to make Stacey Abrams a thing. Freaking Oprah's going out to um campaign with her. And guess what? She's still behind in the polls, man. Because it's never been more transparent as to what you, ma'am, represent. And most people aren't fucking with that at all. But... <laughs> Here she is. She's on Morning Joe. And Joe Scarborough, my guy, what happened to you, my boy? You okay there, man? Like, yo, the past, yeah, like that is that is the stress and um, is the distress of the whole intern thing catching up with you? What, what's what's going on, my guy? I'm joking. I know that's not my. I, I know that's not Joe Scarborough. It's Mike Barnacle. Your name is Mike Barnacle on MSNBC. This, this is like a joke that just writes itself. Seriously, barnacle. Oh, the bot. You a true a barnacle on MSNBC. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, I would assume, maybe incorrectly, but while abortion is an issue, it nowhere reaches the level of interest of voters in terms of the cost of gas. Food, bread, milk, things like that. What can a governor, what could you do as governor to alleviate the concerns? Of uh, yeah, let's just keep this between me and the white man right now because, um, you know, as soon as she opens them, I mean, it's not even like she's much to look at in the first place. I mean, this is everybody's auntie. But um, as soon as she opens her mouth, there's a lot of stupid shit that's going to come out. But recently, MSNBC released an article where, oh, black women, the economy is the, it's lit, like, it, the economy is the most important thing to black women when in reality, this fucked up recession of economy that we're living in right now is the most important thing to literally everybody. But, you know, he's asking her, he's setting her up. He's like, hey, as governor, how are you going to take care of this? How are you going to bring some relief to the people that you call your constituents? Huh? Let's let's get it. Concerns of Georgia voters about those livability, daily, hourly issues that they're confronted with. But let's be clear. Having children is why you're worried about your price for gas. It's why you're concerned about how much food costs for Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just make sure. Let's. I always make sure that um, you know, to 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 give them, to 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 give them the benefit of the doubt with stupid shit they say. Having children is why you're worried about your price for gas. It's why you're concerned about how much food costs. You do realize that food, gas, these are things that single people use too, right? Like, you know, childless people use too. Um, they're kind of like universal things. It's, it, it's, it's such, it's such stupid. For women, this is not a reductive issue. You can't <clears throat> divorce being forced to carry an unwanted pregnancy from the economic realities of having a child. And don't let the nigga come in you. Done. I think I've solved the abortion debate. Real talk. Uh, I like. I'm just still waiting for someone to show me that government agency where they just go bust in the room while you're doing it and says, "You better take that cream pie, girl. You better take that cream pie." Because honestly, I would love to sign up for that shit. Like. <laughs> 
<laughs> like as soon like yo, I was the, the the oh man, we kicking in doors, we popping in windows and shit on some SWAT team shit. Just like yo, putting straight guns to bitches head. Like yeah, yo, you don't let that nigga pull out. You don't let that nigga pull out at all. Like <laughs> yo, how ridiculous. Yo, this is so dumb. Because her whole argument is like, yo, well, you know, I mean, shoot, sh- life's expensive. Murder that baby. Oh, my God. Yo, you are evil. You are evil. You, Queen Latifah, um, Viola Davis, like, all y'all weird, like, entertain, because, like, no, you, like, Oprah is coming to, like, campaign with this bitch. You're all in this Holly weirdo entertainment fucking realm. You're not an actual fucking politician. And as far as redundancy goes, Bitch, your whole existence is redundant. Oh, I'm not not redundant, reductive. Cause seriously, you like you and women like you. You guys just sit there and hold sisters back because y'all y'all try to you because you're nothing more than a fucking prop. That's it. You're nothing more than a fucking puppet with somebody's hand up your ass. You ain't thinking for you, bitch. You can tell it's all over. The, the, the stench of ignorance is all over this woman. You can sit here and, and really try to like and, and really try to get the shit over on the people of Georgia, man. And I know they're going. We all know they're going to put their shenanigans. Hopefully, everybody is on on point and making sure that uh, you know, like all the the the, the, the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and shit. Because they're definitely going to pull all the shenanigans out of all, all their tricks and rabbits out of their hat. And honestly, I hope he fucking mops the floor with you. And so these are it's, it's important for us to have both and conversations. We don't have the luxury of reducing it or separating them out. But we also have to talk about what a governor can do. Yeah, whatever, lady. What a governor can do is get the fuck out of people's lives and out of the fucking way. That's what I want to start seeing from these people, from all these uh, elected officials. Is hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reduce the government. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make sure that we cut out a lot of this bureaucratic red tape and a lot of these useless motherfuckers just go back to the fucking like sink or swim, bitch. At, at some point, you know, like, it's just like you know what, sink or swim. I hope you invested well. Be on your fucking way because we can't afford to keep doing all of this shit. We really can't collectively. But, you know, hey, man, you may disagree, guys. Like, I just like th- this is the stupid shit that they that they really take my sisters for. And a lot of my sisters fall for it. And honestly, sis, let me know in the comment section. Like, how? Why? What 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 makes you see you in this? You know, they have you. She is starving. Yo, let's keep it a fucking buck. Stacey Abrams is starving right now. You know how hard she's been on a treadmill trying to get rid of those pounds, man. Seriously. Because you can tell she's slimmer. She's much slimmer. And they've been starving her ass for it. She's been on some Chris Hemsworth shit to get down to this. All right. (laughs) And honestly, I just like, yo, once all this is said and done, ma'am. Just take whatever cash you've been able to invest and been able to put to the side and fuck off, please. All right. That being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you can like, aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Odyssey as well. Links in the description. I should go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Yeah, uh, I should fucking do it. Like, yo, I'm telling you, once she loses this time, can you please fuck off forever? It'd be appreciated. But you may disagree. That's what comments. That's what comment sections are for. Till the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.